Snyder cut, Snyder cut, Snyder cut. It's like I said, I'm good with numbers. Ugh. All right, so we're about to watch this four hour Snyder cut Justice League film. Uh, we've been waiting for this for years. For the record, I love the first one. I thought the first one was good, despite what a lot of people said. However, it wasn't impossible to know that it was kind of incomplete because, you know, Zack Snyder's daughter committed suicide and Josh Whedon from the Avengers fame had to come in and finish it for him. But this is the vision that Zack Snyder had. And I mean, it's four hours long. So, well, I put up five fingers, but it's four hours long. What are you most excited for? Bro, I'm just, I'm just ready. I'm just, see, I'm gonna see what's up. Yeah, it's like we're looking we're looking at the freaking like all the, the random images and stuff in the trailers and everything that's showing and like you're seeing dark side and stuff so i mean i don't know i'm ready so we're gonna give you our thoughts afterwards and uh yeah here we go this is the same song that night owl and the girl were making love to in the ship and watchmen well we did just finish snyder cut how how are you feeling? You first. You first, dog. So much more emotion this time. Oh my God. Um, it's, yeah, it's it's awesome. Well done. Well done. That was uh, a good four hours worth. Well spent. I, I'd say. Gosh, <clears throat> that is a movie experience that I have never had in my life. Like Return of the King Extended Edition is the closest thing. That. Oh my gosh, that was so much the process. The original Justice League is like, I don't even know like how to compare an ant to an atomic bomb. Like this, this was amazing. This was an experience. It was emotional, it was hard hitting. I, I don't know how to process all of it. Like Oof. Zack Snyder's the freaking man and despite all of the haters out there that he proved them all wrong this was this was i think the best superhero work ever put the screen i'll i'll put that on ever, anything i think it was the best superhero content we've ever had in our lives amen to that yes yes uh finally got to watch uh the snyder cut of justice league um this this was a movie I was not expecting, uh, I wasn't really, I wasn't really know much to expect. When the first one came out, um, I thought it was okay. Uh, it was enjoyable. Um, I was like, okay, yeah, that, it was okay, but it wasn't anything memorable. You know, it was just like, it's, it was just like a hit it, quit it type of movie. Um, not really worth revisiting. Um, you know, it was just, it was okay. Um, and, you know, the first time viewing this, I watched this with, uh, you know, my buddy Henry. And uh, he's also, uh, you know, a huge, you know, nerd, just like all of us. Um, and I don't normally do, like I said, um, like video or movie reviews and stuff. But I, I probably will like to eventually because, I mean, I do love movies and especially like science fiction and everything. So, you know, you got Star Wars, Lord of the Rings, um, you know, any, anything video game related, all, everything, all I'm just... 110 plus nerded out um but anyways yes yeah, so this movie um i didn't know much about it i knew it was in the making and and just getting into it when you first start it it does start off a bit slow oh just heads up this will be a spoiler um you know kind of overview so if you haven't seen it all or haven't seen either one just you know, wait to watch it and come back. Um, but I'm just gonna, you know, just kind of recap over the whole uh, experience from while it's fresh in my head. Um, but it starts off kind of slow. Um, but this is good because, you know, what the what the first version, uh, what they call it, the Justice League or the you know Joss Whedon version. You know, they had they had so much to cram in there, and it didn't have enough time to really. Uh, flesh out and and it's it actually it's actually two different types of movies in my opinion um you can tell as soon as you start this one up um you it feels like a totally different movie 
Um, and it's, and it's just, it just goes to show, you know, di- direction makes a big deal. And, uh, and Zach's way of storytelling, you know, is very, uh, very in depth. Um, and he likes to get, you know, that emotion through, you know, and, and which is why, you know, I love the slow-mo, like, obviously you can use overuse slow motion, but when he's using it, I feel like it's used really well. It's used to really emphasize a moment that is happening, you know, um, something that you want to slow down and take in. And, and those moments are, are in here, you know, and they're in all of his movies and, um, man, and I just really enjoyed it. So I really, I don't want to spend too much time on it, but I just want to say that, you know, well done to, um, the team and, and Zach and what he's done. This, this movie is, this is, this is like, I like, this is, I mean, (laughs) oh, well, it's hard to say, but uh, compared to Endgame, I mean, this is what it's going to come down to, what people are going to like better. Um, but it's almost like you can't even compare the two either because this is like, I honestly in a class of its own, um, because you know, the, the MCU, uh, universe, you know, is so large and, and they've intentionally, uh, you know, made these movies with a plan already in place, uh, you know, a huge plan and they, they executed very well, uh, for the MCU. Um, and as far as this DCU, you know, it's, it's definitely geared, it's geared towards, uh, more adults. Uh, it can go either way, which is, you know, um, what I like about DC, you can go either really dark or you can go kind of kids friendly. Um, but you know, DC, um, these characters, I mean, they just, it's not like every character had their own movie prior to the Justice League combining. Cause I think when the first one came out, I don't think Cyborg had a movie, uh, Flash didn't have his own movie yet. And, um, and Aquaman, I don't think even came out yet when Justice League came out. I I'm not sure. Um, but so you don't really know much about all the characters, but this uh, movie uh, kind of emphasized on that. So, you know, one of the big ones was uh, Cyborg. Uh, they just highlighted, um, you know, his, his character. And man, it's, I'm so glad because I feel like he was such a, uh, just undercut and you didn't get enough Cyborg and you, and you just, he was there in the first one, but, but he wasn't really like there. But in, in this one, man, you, you get his whole background, you know why. Uh, he's doing what he's doing, and you feel for it, man. I mean, the the scenes are just so well shot, and um, and you feel that emotion uh, coming through, and you feel you're in this world. I mean, that first hour kind of kind of gets you sucked in, gets kind of prepares you, you know, and then and then in between those couple hours, you know, you're progressing the story forward, uh, you know, more uh, world building and getting to know the characters. Uh, and then that final scene, man, that final scene, uh, it's so good. It's, I, I loved it. Um, er, you know, each character has, has their moments and it's hard to say whose, whose moment was my favorite. Um, I would say probably for me, it was when Flash, Flash had his moment where he got, he got hurt. Um, and he had to, he had to get back up to get that charge. And when he, he was able to get up and, and that music hits that music that they chose is like so awesome. And, oh man. And when, and then he starts running and then you just, you know, going back through time and, um, that was an awesome scene. And then, you know, followed up, you know, uh, by victorious, you know, when, you know, Superman comes in and, uh, you know, the flight song comes on, you know, that's one of my favorite songs from Man of Steel. Flight is like my the top song. And when that played, I was like, damn, I am down for this. Um, and so, so yeah, it was just, oh, man, you get to see, and you get to see Dark Side finally. You know, we didn't get, we got a little bit of action, which is cool, like through a flashback. Um, so it was awesome to see. And um, man. There's just so much in this movie to process. Uh, I've seen it twice so far, and it is it is so enjoyable. Like this movie is going to um, age well. It's going to go down. This movie's going to go down in history as far as superhero movies go. Um, and it's and it's man. And even, whether you're a Marvel fan or or a DC fan, I think any superhero 
fan would really enjoy this movie regardless um because it really it really does bring people together it has the emotion in it and you you really care for these characters i really you know i mean i felt i did you know and at the end you know uh the the, the theme about the father uh twice over man that part that that gets me that got me um you get gets me every time um you know just the these they're really just these um you know kids just you know, wanting to do the the best thing and be the best versions of themselves and their fathers or they want them to be successful and want them to be the best versions of themselves. And, uh, and it is, man, it's, it's so good, man. It's, it just has, it has a lot of meaning and there's so many things you can interpret and, um, you know, and, and, you know, finding out that, you know, uh, Zack Snyder lost his daughter, um, in that process, it just, it just, it just means even more, you know, because when you see it at the end, it says uh, for autumn. And, you know, when that when that hits, you're like, oh, my God. So you're just like, damn. You know what? What an incredible experience, you know, told by the man himself the way he wanted it to be told. Um, and man, what a. What? what a payoff man what what a payoff um hats off to you uh dc universe uh zach snyder and the cast everyone who worked on this film man thank you for bringing this to us i mean it's a good time to be fans right now because uh any just even any nerds i mean we got you know the mandalorian with this what's triumphant a uh, success you know we'll bring luke back and and now we we're getting this this DC like <sighs> redemption, um, you know, for the Justice League. Uh, man, it just this was awesome. This was awesome, and it's gonna it's gonna be like I said. This movie is going to go down in history as probably one of the best uh, superhero movies of all time. Um, and I loved Endgame. You know, Endgame was good, um, but. You know that's that's subjective. It's they're definitely for different types of people of who this resonates with too. Like, you know, the uh, DC fans are going to be more of I feel like more of the hardcore fans because they're more um, geared. You know, they're more uh, friendly. You know, for everyone. You know, for kids and adults to enjoy. Where DC is more of like I said, more dark theme, more towards of uh, adults kind of in a way. And and it's just. You know, it's, it's just what it is. Whatever resonates with you, people are going to just have their opinions, you know. Um, and, you know, just for me personally, this this movie really hits it. It really it really hits all the marks, man. I mean, like you're talking like Return of the King. This movie was, you know, you get like Game of Thrones vibes and, um, you know, Return of the King vibes. You just this feeling of just this grand uh, epicness of just superheroes and you're just watching it and just taking it in and you, and you don't want it to end you know like and when it's over you just want more you know uh you just want more um man well done well done i will shut up i feel like i've talked too long but um this this was amazing and i i just had to i just had to get on and just i just wanted to thank uh you know everyone that that put effort into to making this happen um because it it was worth it, and I enjoyed every second of this, um, and, you know, it, it was awesome, it was awesome, um, anyways, I hope this movie goes on, like I said, as a milestone in history, um, and I'm pretty sure as reviews are coming in, people are also loving it, uh, in addition to myself, but I just wanted to just contribute to the community and give my, a plus super approval for this awesome freaking movie man awesome awesome this is a 10 out of 10 man 10 out of 10 10 out of 10 this belongs in your blu-ray collection for sure um that's it hope you guys enjoyed that uh we'll see you guys on the next video who knows what it'll be anyways take care hope you all are are uh, being well and you know get that stimulus hopefully i didn't get mine yet it sucks but oh well what are you gonna do um, all right, guys, take care and be well. Peace.